Hey, what's good, good people? Listen, ever found yourself in a financial bond and needed to go and check your pants when you're doing laundry, hoping that you find five or $10 somewhere? Listen, is it tight for you? Are you wondering how you can save money? Are you wondering why you can't save money? Well, what happens when you have an emergency and you have no one to call on, no extra coins in your pocket? What do you do? Y'all, it's time to start saving. I want you to learn how to save. Start saving as little as a dollar, five dollars, or ten dollars. Let me show you how. Stop shaking your clothes. Lord, stop it. There's nobody in there. Come with me. getting through the flu. Um, I've been down ever since my Esther fast. I've been down, um, was in the hospital, uh, diagnosed with the flu, yada, yada, yada. And it has been kicking my butt. So this is going to be a brief and quick video, but I have to get up and do my daily diligence in my business and in my personal life on a Saturday morning. When I say the steroids, <coughs> excuse me, the steroids and antibiotics, um, cough syrup and all of that kind of stuff is helping the girl tremendously. Uh, but I have to use wisdom and that means uh, not a lot of excessive talking. So I just, I'm bringing you in um, because one, I'm just truly excited to be able to be alive today to say, that I can sit up and I can still breathe because at one point I couldn't breathe. I really couldn't breathe and walk into the bathroom and just having my head up off the pillow was just a fight for me. So thank God I'm, I'm good. Um, still got a little ways to go, but I decided to do this video because um, Bankroll Beauty Boss Building 101, the book is has been released and also the actual um, savings challenge book has been released as well. So this is what it looks like. Um, and this will be available shortly. I will post all of this information for you, but I wanted to bring y'all in on the goodness of God and how when I say to manage God, if he's just not gonna bless no mess, y'all. If you find yourself in a financial situation, you find yourself in a financial rut, the best thing to do is to get your all your all your stuff together. Get you a binder. It doesn't even have to be Dara's binder. It doesn't even have to be Bankroll Beauty Boss products. It doesn't have to be. Get you a spiral notebook and just get all of your bills. Sit down, look at your income that's coming in, and I'm talking about all incomes alimonies, child support, uh, employer, side hustles, all of that, take note of all of that, write it down, and whatever it, whatever um, expenses you have, categorize them in fixed income and variable incomes, and tally all that stuff up. Whether you come up short or you or have an overflow, which is great, um, just make sure that you have it in front of you so you can see it see and know what you're working with because otherwise your mind is going to be scrambled. And right now I'm in the process of trying to help someone get their stuff together, their finances together. And they told me, I was kind of hurt by this because they told me that, <coughs> excuse me, they're in a messed up situation. And the last thing they can worry about is saving. I'm like, what? 
but it's it's I don't want to say it's ignorance it's just lack of knowledge and I was there too um, but now that I'm no longer there my eyes are open God has given me wisdom in that area I need to share that wisdom and that's what I'm doing so here just a few things get you you know if you can if you're with the savings challenge it doesn't have to be the 100 savings um, challenge you can start with something like something small such as this where you know you can put different um, and y'all see this is empty pretty much this is empty because I did <coughs> excuse me, take out stuff to go deposit into my accounts um, but I figured I'd bring y'all along with me and allow y'all to see me build up, build out the um, challenge for the Bankroll Beauty Boss. Um, so I have monies here and mon some of these monies are going into my 100 challenge and I am missing a binder, but it's okay, it's all right. But I just wanna share with you all um, Bankroll Beauty here, my binder. Um, and what it entails, you know, you have your income tracker sheet. Um, this is some very good thick paper too. Um, monthly budget, you know, y'all don't look at my hair, y'all. It's been, it's been a mess, y'all. I've really been sick, okay? Um, yeah, get a girl some credit. <laughs> um, no spin tracker. Um, it's okay. And I say monthly budget, monthly budgeting. Um, so again, get you a spiral notebook. You don't have to go high end. And this is not even really high end. This is just what works for Dar. So I'm just trying to give you ideas as to what may work for you. Um, and in my bankroll beauty boss challenge, you know, I created, cause I do my little printing and all. So I created some stickers to go in here. I've already started, um, and you can make this out the way you want, an emergency fund. This is what I recommend starting with, an emergency fund. This one here is for just my biz. Stick this thing on here, um, and I press it on a different way, but you get the drift, right? And what you wanna do is start to count out your monies, know what you have, know what you have. And I just kinda line mine up. Um, and this actually is one that I had for a good little while. I really do need to upgrade, not upgrade, but maybe get the one that is like stair steps so I can kind of see it better. But I keep my high end bills up top and it just go right on down, just like that. But if you have the stair step one, you're able to really see what you're counting. Um, make sure you get you some highlighters, markers, pens, yeah. So the girl is ready, but I just want to encourage y'all, um, March is um, Women's Month, right? It is Women's Month, and yeah, so March is, March is Women's Month, and honoring, you know, women all around the world. We honor those who went before us, who have paved the way for us, but I love to honor those that are here and near and dear to me. And I'm talking about women that are in my community and my YouTube community and my walk in them shoes community. Um, I talk about the glow up. I talk about leveling up. Um, this is about, <coughs> excuse me. This is about you. This is about you needing to take the time for yourself, build yourself up spiritually build yourself up personally, professionally, financially, physically. It is about you taking your life to the, a new level. Embarking on this journey of changing your life and wanting more and better for yourself, it starts with you. But don't think that you can't get started if you don't have a whole lot. I don't care if it's $1, I don't care if it's 10, 20, I don't care what it is, just get started. And to this woman who I'm working with right now, presently, I can't even just come to the table with her with money. It starts here. It starts in the mindset and believing that I can do this. No, not even that I can. I want to do this. Because when you have that will, you have that desire, 
you, you're giving God something to work with. So you allowing him to work within you, then that can becomes I'm doing, I am doing. So I want you to really think about ladies, ladies, just think about where you are. What part of your life is it that you need to change? What part of your life do you feel need to um, be leveled up? Where do you feel that you're falling short? Take those concerns to God. There is nothing too hard for God to do. Baby, if you find yourself in this situation, baby, if you find yourself in the toughest situation right now, I don't even know how I'm going off this way, but I guess the person that I'm working with is kind of really tugging at my heart. And I want her to see that she's so worth God waiting for her to open up her mouth to say, God, help me. She's so worth taking that first step, even if it's a baby step. She is so worth living. She is so worthy. We need you. And I, when I say you, meaning I'm talking to that lady that I'm working with, but I'm also talking to you. Because somewhere in your life, you're struggling with something. And as I say all the time, a lot of us are either walking out of a season or walking into a season. But for whatever season you're in right now, if you find that this season is one of the toughest, baby, hold on to your faith. Hold on to God's unchanging hand and keep telling yourself, I can and I will and I am. I am beautiful. I am strong. I can do this. I can conquer all of what God has placed in front of me. I can get through this. I will get through this. You have to keep reminding yourself of this. When I was sick and laying in that hospital and oxygen on my face, I was scared because my mother passed away from lung disease. I mean, from lung cancer. My grandmother had lung disease. My grandfather had emphysema. That doesn't mean that that has to be written for Darnese, but yet just sometimes when things like this happen, it reminds me of those things. It reminds me of what could be, but guess what? I am strong, I am healthy, and I'm confessing to God that right now I'm weak and I need you to strengthen me. And guess what he did? He did just that. He strengthened me. So I'm going off, and this is really supposed to be about um, March Madness and honoring the woman. But we're honoring ourselves as women and meaning taking the first step to get whatever is in your life wrong right. You want to take that, ba that baby step. Listen, I'm sitting here right now. Um, I'm setting myself up for the month of March. And setting up for emergency funds, setting up for, you know, the sinking funds and making sure I allocate my funds, making sure I give these dollars, every dollar, an assignment is so important. Before, I never thought like this. Before, I, I couldn't understand. I'm making money. I work full time. I make money in my side hustles and business. And it was like money just was going right through me. But God couldn't trust me over the little that I had. And I kept asking for more and more and more. And I'm like, God, you're not hearing me. But guess what? He heard me. But I wasn't hearing him. And I wasn't hearing him say, Lord, I need you to manage the little so that I can trust you with more. And now that I've shown him that I can do and be faithful over the little, he has trusted me with more. You see? So allow us, allow yourself and this month of, this, not month of madness, but um, March of uh, this month, when we get it together, Woman's Month, allow yourself this month to take a look at everything. Look at yourself in the whole, as a whole. And I'm talking about writing down spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, financially, everything that you want. What are those areas in those particular, um, what, in those areas, what do you want God to work on? There's a few. Financially, I needed him to work on management, helping me to manage, helping me to understand. So I began to ask for the wisdom. I began to ask for the knowledge and understanding. And y'all, he's given it to me. So I feel like I know I'm talking a bit too much, so I'm going to stop. But I just want to encourage someone on this journey of becoming Baby, you got this. I, Darnese, 
founder of this organization, Walk in Them Shoes. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to motivate you and inspire you to blaze the trail to success. And where you are right now is not where you'll always be. Your funds may be low, but baby, if you take these few baby steps, you will be that bankroll beauty boss. In fact, you are that bankroll beauty boss. You are just realizing it. And now that you realize it, you are starting to manage it. Okay, I'm your girl, Lita Lady Dar, founder of this wonderful organization, Walking in Shoes. Let me get to working, y'all. I love y'all. If you if you are encouraged, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget hit the like button, comment, subscribe to the channel, come back for more videos, y'all. Come back for more encouragement and inspiration. I'm your girl, Lita Lady Dar. I do truly apologize for being so nasally. Y'all, I, I I was a mess. But as I said, after my Esther fast, God, during my Esther fast, I said, God is a keeper. He is a sustainer. He is a way maker. Listen, y'all, he is a healer. I'm here to testify, y'all. And that's why the devil is trying to. I ain't had no voice for like two days. I was hoarse. Remember I told y'all in my Esther Fast videos, my throat was sore. Quit something from the grandbaby. Y'all, that devil was trying to shut this mouth up so that I don't share the goodness of the Lord. But I'm here to encourage you and tell you, baby, hold fast, hold strong, hold on to God's unchanging hand. He got you. I'm your girl, Lady Lady Dar, founder of this wonderful organization, Walking Them Shoes. Stay blessed, y'all.